uh, welcome. Uh, this is uh, lecture 2 of module 3. Uh, now, as in the previous class, uh, we have reviewed some of the elements of matrix, uh, matrix algebra. Now, in this uh, lecture also, uh, we will continue with that. So, hmm, uh, here uh, um, we have uh, in the last class, we have discussed matrix and its properties, uh, determinants, uh, matrix in, uh, inverse, partially we have discussed matrix inverse. Now, in this lecture, I will uh, actually uh, uh, discuss it in more detail in the matrix inverse. Uh, now, we have finished there that uh, the matrix inverse is actually uh, can be written uh, as the cofactor matrix uh, and the determinant uh, divided by the determinant. Now, the cofactor matrix is actually also called the adjoint matrix which is the transpose of the cofactors of the uh, matrix A. Now, um, in this uh, cofactor matrix, we compute uh, the elements of the cofactor matrix is actually e through the uh, um, uh, Cij is actually the components of the cofactor matrix. So, it is calculated uh, as the principal uh, uh, as the minors determinant of the minors. So, now um, uh, if we have a 3 by 3 matrix say this is A11, uh, one, one, A2, A33 three, three, and then adjoint matrix of the cofactor uh, co A cof that uh, matrix is actually the uh, um, C11 one, one to C33 three, three, uh, transpose. So, now how to calculate the C11 uh, one, one and C22 two, two and uh, so on uh, is uh, through this formula which is minus 1 to the power uh, i plus j and then determinant of the minors. So, how to again the uh, how to calculate the minors we have also discussed in the last class. So, minors are formed by deleting the row i and uh, column j of a. Now, um, um, we will uh, go through uh, with an example uh, of uh, doing this. Suppose, uh, this is a matrix A we want to uh, invert. So, what to do? We have to uh, uh, write uh, first the adjoint matrix. The adjoint matrix will uh, be of something of this form. Uh, because uh, we first calculate the cofactors. So, for, for instance, the C11 is uh, my uh, first cofactor. So, with this formula, uh, I calculate C11, uh, which is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1, and then uh, deleting first row and first column. If we delete the first row and the first column, then uh, this portion of the matrix is uh, left. So, this portion actually I take the determinant. So, which is a very simple uh, 15 uh, into 5 uh, minus minus of minus 5 into uh, minus 5. So, which uh, turns out to be the 50. So, um, now uh, if you uh, have uh, C 2 3 for instance, uh, we want to calculate C 2 3 then um, it is the deleting the second row and the third column. So, um, uh, if I delete the second row, uh, second row and the third column. So, this will be 30 minus 10 and minus uh, um, 0 and minus 5. So, taking determinant of this quantity uh, will give me my uh, required cofactor C 2 3. So, uh, this turns out to be the minus a uh, plus 150. Now, in this way we can calculate all the cofactors of matrix A. So, if you look carefully I have already calculated these things this, uh, this turns out to be this matrix. Now, uh, adjoint matrix is essentially the transpose of this cofactor matrix. Now, if you uh, look this matrix A, since the matrix A is symmetric, then uh, this adjoint, this cofactor matrix will also come as symmetric and transpose of that uh, is also the same matrix, because we defined already the symmetric matrix is A equal to A transpose. So, 
uh, then uh, this is my um, the adjoint matrix. Now, once I calculate the determinant determinant of A, which is again in the last class we have discussed, uh, which is the uh, A 1 1 C 1 1 8 A 1 2 C 1 2 and so on. So, if we calculate this one, this turns out to be the thousand. So, uh, from the previous formula A inverse is 1 by determinant of A and then cofactor matrix transpose, which is actually the same matrix here. So, um, adjoint of A. Now, uh, if you um, put uh, 1 by 1000 inside or uh, multiply with the 1 by 1000 to each element of this matrix, then uh, it turns out to be the, this matrix. So, if you look now carefully, this matrix is the inverse of A and since the A is a symmetric matrix, uh, then this uh, A inverse is also a symmetric matrix. So, this is a uh, one uh, corollary or a one uh, information we can uh, draw if the matrix is symmetric, then its inverse is also symmetric. Now, uh, this procedure, this inverse is actually will break if this determinant comes to 0. Now, division by 0 we all know that it is infinity. So, uh, this inverse that means the inverse cannot be computed. So, inverse will be uh, inverse cannot be computed. So, uh, that means we will say that matrix is a singular matrix. So, the definition of singular matrix is that that if it inverse does not exist or cannot be computed, then the matrix is called singular matrix. And it can only happen here uh, is that if this quantity or the date of A uh, goes to 0. right? So, next uh, uh, we will see how to compute uh, uh, inverse through the other uh, methods. For instance, uh, the Gauss-Jordan method. This Gauss-Jordan method is actually a very efficient method of uh, finding out inverse or finding out the solution of the linear system of equation. Uh, so, first let us before uh, discussing the Gauss-Jordan method, let us uh, now uh, uh, know some of the things how uh, we will proceed. So, the following row operations on the augmented matrix, now I will explain what is augmented matrix of a system produced uh, produce the augmented matrix of an equivalent system. That is a system with the same solution as the original one. So, now how to calculate uh, this thing we will uh, see through an example. Now, let us uh, the study these operations. So, interchange any rows. So, that means I can uh, if I have a, a matrix of something like this, uh, then I can interchange it. Say for instance 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, uh, 6. This is a matrix. So, if I uh, now uh, change these matrix uh, or if I interchange that I, that means uh, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. That means I interchange or swap the row 2 to row 1. So, interchange of row uh, is allowed. Now, multiply each element of a row by a non-zero constant. So, I can even multiply uh, a row uh, with a constant and then uh, subtract it from a, uh, a row or add, add to a row. So, this also will not change my augmented system. So, uh, and then replace uh, a row by the sum of itself and a constant multiple of other row of the matrix. So, these operations uh, if I do that means, this operation will not change my matrix or the, uh, the augmented system is actually the equivalent of the original system. Now, the matrix produced using above row operation is called the row reduced echelon form. This is very important term uh, row reduced echelon form because when we will uh, study the rank and uh, rank of a matrix and uh, 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 nullity of the matrix, we will again come back to this. So, I will see uh, we will see that uh, how this row uh, reduced uh, matrix 
can be uh, obtained. So, um, let us uh, start with an example that uh, suppose I want to solve uh, these three system of equation. So, this can be represented in a, a matrix form uh, in this that we have uh, learned in the first class. So, this can be written in a matrix form this 1, 1, 1 and so on. These are the coefficient of the variables a, x, y and uh, z. Now, this is the right hand side 5, 8 and 2. So, if we um, do this, uh, this represents a matrix vector equation. Now, if I want to solve this system through the gauss jordan method, then what I do is uh, I write this matrix original matrix and then augment the right hand side of the uh, vector with this matrix and then I start doing the row operation on it which we have learned in the previous slide. So, if I now suppose I do R 2 minus 2 R 1 that means, I am subtracting uh, 2 times of row 1 with the R 2. So, if you multiply 2 with the row 1 and subtract with the R 2, then what will be the, what will be my R 2 that means, row 1 row 2 that means, 2 times of 1. So, 2 minus 2 is essentially 0 and then similarly 3 minus 2 times of 1. So, it, it comes to uh, 1. So, similarly if I do these operations my uh, uh, augmented matrix becomes this. Now, from here to here I do these row operations and comes to here. Now, look carefully the other uh, uh, rows have not changed only this row has changed. So, uh, it has to be carefully noted that only this row is changed due to this operation. Now, similarly, if I perform R 3 minus 4 R 1, then uh, the row 3 will change while row 3, row 2 and row 1 will be remain same. So, this comes to this. Now, similarly, if I do another operation R 3 plus 4 R 2, then this will be uh, this and then again with this again I actually do uh, divide by row 3 uh, by 13. So, if I uh, divide row 3 with the 13 then my final matrix will be this and now see till now these, these row 1 row 2 will be unchanged. Now, similarly I do another operation and so on uh, if I perform this uh, thing uh, then uh, my uh, final thing is this, but you see still there is an 1. So, we probably need to do another uh, operation uh, on this and which comes to this. So, uh, if uh, um, I now R 1 minus R 2 if I do then it goes. So, you see the my original matrix was this original augmented matrix um, was uh, in the uh, um, this form this matrix with the right hand side 5 8 2. Now, uh, what I did essentially I, um, I make the original matrix as my identity matrix as my identity matrix. Now, uh, due to for making this identity matrix my right hand side vectors have changed. So, uh, if I write this system of equation to now another system of equation which I obtain through the row operation I get this system of equation. What this rule says is that the solution of this system of equation is same as solution of this system of equation. That means, the row operation is uh, the result of row operations are equivalent. That means, there is no change in the uh, solution. Now, solving this kind of system is very easy. Now, if you look carefully that x uh, solving this means it is x equals to 3 x y equals to 4 z equals to minus 2. So, this is a solution of the original my equation. Now, since this is a diagonal matrix, so solution is just uh, the uh, x equals to 3 y equals to 4 and z equals to minus 2. So, by this process what should what will be our objective? Our objective is to make the uh, original matrix to a diagonal matrix so that our solution comes very easily. So, uh, 
uh, and this will be done through a uh, um, row operations which will not change the uh, original system. Now, if you um, if we can extend this for a, uh, another uh, class of problem I will show which is which we can extend. So, this is in a uh, nutshell that uh, this Gauss Jordan method can also be used uh, through the so for the solution of the system of equation. So, and how to do that we have just seen now. Now, uh, if we can use this for a uh, for a total matrix. Now, what here uh, we want to do is just we want to the invert the matrix. So, what should be the A inverse? Now, if we know uh, from the inverse formula that is A, A inverse is actually the identity matrix. So, identity matrix will be of order 3 here because A is a uh, 3 by 3 matrix. So, if you now see the right hand side for me is a matrix, but uh, my solution will also be a matrix. If you look from this uh, from the previous uh, example we have seen. Now, uh, similarly as in the previous example, I uh, write the original matrix and then augment my right hand side which is the identity matrix here. This identity matrix I write it here. Now, similar to the uh, other example, I start doing the row operation. So, what will be the my objective here? So, the my objective here will be to make this original matrix as identity matrix and due to that this matrix will be changed. So, first I do the uh, row 1 plus row 2 uh, and then uh, uh, divide 1 fifth with the row 1 and similarly I do R 2 minus 2 R 1 and minus half R 1 and so on. So, if we do this then this comes uh, uh, to a uh, form which is uh, similar to the identity uh, which is uh, the um, uh, not identity matrix, but uh, like this matrix. So, we need to do little more. So, we will see this. Uh, so, it was my original matrix and then uh, this was uh, the changed augment uh, change matrix, change right hand side matrix. Now, what I do you see there is a 0 in the uh, diagonal uh, term of the original matrix. So, now if I swap the row 2 and row 1 uh, row 3, uh, then I will uh, I can obtain a uh, uh, diagonal term non zero so this uh, so that's why i swap this uh, row 3 and row 2 and then uh, my final matrix becomes uh, this uh, final matrix becomes this uh, uh, um, my final matrix becomes this now, uh, so if we uh, have looked carefully that A inverse is I, uh, I have written it in a uh, uh, equation format. So, where my x, y, z, m, n, o, p, q, r, my unknown. So, if I uh, now uh, I have a uh, uh, I want uh, through this uh, Gauss Jordan method, I want to find out x, y, z, m, n, o, and p, q, r. Uh, what should be the value and this uh, value is essentially the component of A inverse. So, uh, so this is a uh, basic uh, Gauss Jordan met method and which is very helpful uh, for computing the inverse. Now, um, uh, so what uh, what was uh, what we have done uh, through this is essentially a, this matrix this matrix I uh, uh, augment with the identity matrix because my right hand side was my uh, was an identity matrix. Now, through the row operation I made this ident this matrix as my identity matrix and due to that this uh, right hand side matrix will be changed and this change matrix will represent the inverse because uh, this equation suggests 
that my inverse is this matrix. So, uh, this is one of the uh, way of calculating matrix inverse and if you compute the what are the row operations and all those things, you can uh, also uh, compute the cost of matrix inverse which is uh, typically n cube uh, operations. So, uh, even though we uh, solve uh, matrix equation sometimes by matrix inverse, but generally uh, solution of matrix uh, solution of uh, simultaneous linear equation is costly by matrix inverse. Uh, so, that we will see when we will study the Gauss elimination. So, this completes the second lecture um, of module 3, we will in the next lecture we will uh, again uh, continue with the matrix uh, uh, algebra and its review. Thank you.